You have another integral here from the MIT Integration B. I'm starting on the quiz from 2011. We're at problem number one. We have the integral of x to the 6 minus 1 over x to the 4th plus x cubed minus x minus 1 dx. Okay, and the first thing I notice here is really that everything looks factorable, and I think that's going to be our first approach to see if, if we can factor this thing, if maybe we can just clean it up and make it into something very simple. So to begin, on the numerator, we're just going to notice that this over here, x to the 6, is the same thing as x cubed squared. So I can write this as the difference of two squares. I can write this as x cubed minus 1 times x cubed plus 1. And look at the denominator. I think this is factorable probably a few different ways. But what I want to do is factor from just these first two terms. Let's factor an x cubed out. Okay, so factoring an x cubed out of there, we have this is going to be x plus 1. And then if I pull a minus sign out of this part, okay, we'll have minus x plus 1. And notice when we have x plus 1 in common here, we can just factor that out. So I can write this denominator as x cubed minus 1 times x plus 1. And then we'll just rewrite this numerator. Then from here we have some nice cancellation, okay, because this is the same term. So these will cancel. And now we've simplified this a little bit. But I think we can even do more factoring. Now let's look at x cubed plus 1. We can, this can be written as the sum of two cubes. Let's just look at that formula real quick. Okay, so here's our formula for the sum of two cubes. And in this case of x cubed plus one, our a is gonna be equal to x, and our b is just gonna be equal to one. So let's just use this and see how this shapes up. Putting it into this form, a plus b is just gonna be x plus one. Then this part, we're gonna have x squared, one times x, we're just gonna have minus x, plus 1 squared is 1. And all this is just going to be over x plus 1. I don't really need parentheses. But then x plus 1 and x plus 1 is going to cancel. And now all we've got left is a polynomial. So this is just basic power rule and we can finish it off. Integral of x squared is going to be x cubed over 3 minus integral of x is going to be x squared over 2 plus 1 is going to be an x plus c. And that's it. There you have it. Pretty easy. I think it was all algebra and power rules. So we'll stop it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.